welcome or welcome back to my channel happy halloween or whatever time it is for you i decided to film this little video because i wanted to see this made and i hadn't seen it made so i made it i hope you enjoy it i am going to be making a mushroom costume for halloween honestly this could be for halloween this could be for a child's birthday party i mean a cute little nature themed birthday party where you make your son or daughter a toadstool hat and you make yourself a big adult one adorable but that's what i'm doing today i made the dress i made the hat so you will see all of that coming up in the next few minutes i know i haven't been here in a while but you know what it's the thought that counts i'm making content i'm getting back here because i love making stuff and i want to share that with the world so if you want to see more of these videos, I have stuff planned. I have lots of patterns that I've been working on and ready to cut and make. So if you want to see that, like, subscribe, leave a comment as to what you want to see. If there's any patterns that you've been wanting to try that you just can't find a tutorial for and you're stuck, just let me know in the comments and maybe I'll try it. There's a lot out there, a whole lot out there. I knit now. So if you want to see something like that, let me know. But let's get on into it. Again, if you want to see more, like, subscribe, and comment below what you wear for Halloween if you celebrate, because I love Halloween. So as you can probably say, I love Halloween. So let me know what you wear in the comments, and let's get on into making this mushroom costume. Alrighty, so the first step in this pattern was figuring out actually what pattern I wanted to make for the dress. I had three options. The first was the Alexandra Shift Dress from At The Seams Patterns. Second was the Gia Sewing Patterns Bustier Corset Style Romper Dress. And the last being the Prairie State Dress from Shay Hanny. And that is the one that I decided to go with just because I feel like it would be the most useful and versatile in my closet. So that's what I ended up doing. All patterns that I was looking at and my pattern folder will be available in the description below. Here I am just living the dream, cutting out the pattern pieces, pretty straightforward and easy and making sure to mark any notches. And then we gather, gather, gather. It is honestly a simple joy in life. I'm not gonna lie, some people think I'm crazy, but I do love gathering. I just did two long stitches on a stitch length of five and then pulled those two together. Come on, how satisfying is this gather stitching together to the bodice? I mean, look at the beautiful results. So beautiful, so gorgeous, so gathered. I let you enjoy just some very satisfying iron pressing, another favorite of mine. And now we move into making of the straps that you'll see I didn't even end up using. Yes, for extra work. This has to be the most satisfying bit of it all, but if you come for me for including pins in my work, I am really sorry. I know I'm not supposed to sew over them, but I am so careful, I promise. So this is where I'm at so far. It's gonna be cute. Um, I just wanted to adjust the sleeve length, so I'm going to do just that. Um, from here, um, I just want to make them like shorter and smaller. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'll do like a little, you can see, hopefully what I do, if it looks good. So this is basically what I think I'm going to do. I want to make it so it's like, like about here, like cute little sleevey sleeve. So what I'm going to do. because it's gonna have a cuff. And when I cut the cuff, yeah, I have to cut off. Um, when I cut the cuff originally, it was um, too small. So I ended up making it longer, but this is gonna be cute. It's definitely like a little high on my body, but cute. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be cute, 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 cute. 
this is another incredible part. I mean, just look at those gathers, pinning that arm band on, making it perfect. I love. Okay, so this is where I'm at now. I think it's super freaking cute. Actually, like the front length, I feel like it's like kind of short, but it's gonna be perfect. <sighs> this design choice. I don't think I love it. What I actually think I'm gonna do is get rid of those. Um, just take them out, I'll seam rip it and fix it. Um, also, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't put pockets in this. Freaking hey, man. So, um, my thought process is get rid of these and maybe add like little patch pockets on the front. I think that could be kind of cute or I'll just leave it. Um, but yeah, right now it's like actually so cute. It's much cuter on than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I thought it was going to be very, like I said, um, baby, whatever, shower, baby, baby communion christening i don't remember i don't know what it is um but yeah the sleeves i love i love i love i shortened them they're super cute now um i wish i had pockets i should have put pockets in here but yeah get rid of these i have to sew a buttonhole and put a button in the back i forgot about that um may may not add pockets i might cut them and then like lay them on and see but yeah she's quite cute i like it a lot it's actually way cuter than i thought so heck yeah we love and also super hate the process of making a buttonhole i had to do this twice i'm not gonna lie i don't have evidence but i did okay it's actually so cute i can't get over it i actually really like it way more than i thought i would it's actually like the perfect little length obsessed so cute um, definitely like it without the ties. Um, if I were to do it again, I don't know if I would make this again. Um, cause I feel like one is going to be perfect. If I made it again, I would definitely move the bust down, make it a waist. Um, but the empire waist honestly looks pretty decent now. Um, I got a breast reduction, so, uh, life is pretty good with that. So things like this and that never would have fit me now fit me so i am just thriving yeah turned out pretty cute onto the hat okay welcome to my new apartment it's wonderful um all my windows are open people are probably going to judge me excuse me fedex man i'm gonna get started i finished the dress last weekend and then this week um it's time for the hat. And I found this little 70s dresser that honestly, um, I don't think I'd ever wear. So what I'm gonna do, it's like the most beautiful red velvet. Use that for the top part of the mushroom. Um, I am using Woodlark blog, I'll link it below. It is the No Soul DIY No Soul Mushroom Toadstool Costume. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, so I have this little red velvet for the top. I thrifted this 100% cotton muslin sheet for the underside. And then I have a couple of boxes. I have a hot glue gun. That is what I'm supposed to use for this. And I also have some stuffing like, um, it, she suggests cotton batting. Uh, we had some, then we moved and we donated it, which was kind of silly, but whatever, beside the point. I have tissue paper, I have newspaper, I have bubble wrap. So I'm thinking to repurpose it, I'll stuff it on the inside, do that, but I'm gonna get started just on making the shape and then we'll worry about the fabric, but Let's get started. You can see I have this nice big table. We just got this dining table and it's freaking huge. So it's perfect for crafting, perfect for cutting out fabric. I love it. So let's get started. Um, yeah, I'm gonna live my dream. Okay, had to pause for housewives. I got some people looking at me. Welcome to the show. Um, okay, so this is not gonna be completely big enough. Oh my gosh, people are thinking I'm crazy. So I have to do this 
and then add an extra like two inches, three inches, about there. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do that, hot glue it. This is obviously not very precise, but we're living the dream. So I'm gonna get to doing that. Um, I gotta hot glue that. I gotta cut out little strips for the head and then the brim. So we're gonna get going. We're gonna live our dream, we're gonna do that. Okay, so basically what I did here was hot glue the base temple part together and then I cut out, I think two inch strips, they say one and a half, but I think mine are honestly probably closer to three inches because I have an adult big head. But I cut out two more strips and placed them perpendicular to one another on the little base part. I look like such a dork. <laughs> but this is perfect. It's like the perfect fit. It's gonna be great. Just wanted to show you that progress. So I wanted to figure out brim wise how big I wanted to go. So I took this vintage hat that I have and kind of cut around that. Honestly, none of this is really that precise. I kind of just decided to wing it. Once I cut out that brim, I placed the hat piece that I had made onto the base and cut out a little circle so that I could make it work. And I do not have a box cutter, so I'm using an old rotary cutter to get that shape in the middle cut out because my scissors were just not going to cut it. So I did that. And then I honestly just taped the crap out of the hat to make it stay together with some blue painter's tape. Uh, I smelled like a freshly painted apartment all day because the hat smelled like blue painter's tape, which I kind of loved, but I just taped all around to make sure that everything stuck together. A little jank, but it fits quite well. It literally feels like a hat. Um, now I have to do the like, boop, boop, like the big ones. <laughs> but I think it's time to cover it in fabric. This is not taking that long at all. Oh, but it's cute and I'm jazzed. You can see me violently bending this cardboard to try to make it arc like it was supposed to. And basically what I did here is cut out, again, two and a half, three inch, one and a half inch, whatever. I felt like cutting out strips of cardboard to create this nice dome shape on the hat. I think I cut out four and then just placed them kind of haphazardly all around just to give that shape. And then one thing I will add for this, if you decide to do it, that helped me, is I actually did hot glue all four of those strips together at the top center just to make sure that everything was shaped really nicely. Now here is where I eat my words of saying that this didn't actually take that long because the fabric part of this took ridiculously long, but I basically just cut out a big semicircle, again very haphazardly, I kind of didn't follow the instructions, but I cut out a big circle, cut out a center piece, and then just kind of went for it in gluing it, again nothing too precise. I just kind of wanted to give it that organic mushroom nature shape, which is what ended up happening here, as you can see. And then the top bit was a wee bit of a struggle in getting the shape. This is where the cotton batting would have come in super helpful, but I stuffed it with that newspaper and then went for it on the top. This was, again, a dress, so I just cut out the back section and I actually did have to sew a bit together. But we managed to make it work and you can see I'm able to stretch it on top. I figured any imperfections will be covered by the spots. So this is where I'm presently at. Um, I ran out of hot glue. Shocker. Uh, so I, I already needed to go to Joann's today, obviously. So I'll be going back to Joann's as per usual. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> think it's really cute so far. 
Uh, but yeah, this is where we're at. Um, I also need to, I, I plan to go through the um, remnants bucket and see if I can find some just white, I mean, velvet, vinyl, felt. I mean, if I can't find anything, I'll go for felt. But I like to use the remnants because they're definitely cheaper. They're always on sale. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is where we're at. <laughs> so as you can see, I went for felt. There were no remnants. I'm shocked. It's Halloween weekend. It is what it is. So I ended up going for felt. And here you can see just some very organic shapes. Cut them out. Lived my dream. And hot glued them on in just a haphazard fashion. Again, giving it that organic feel. And here she is! It turned out so cute. I am literally obsessed and will allow you to just revel in the cuteness right now. Don't ask. I don't know why I'm like this. That was my cutie little costume. Didn't it turn out so cute? We took videos in my back alley and some girlies were laughing. But you know what? I don't care. I freaking love Halloween and I love being in a costume. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment again what you wore for Halloween because I freaking love it. And I want to know what you were. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the near future. Bye.